we want to simplify the 18th root of 27 raised to the power of 6. There's several ways to do this. Let's begin by looking at our notes below. If we have the nth root of a to the m, we can write this using a rational exponent as we see here. Notice how the index n is the denominator of the rational exponent, and the exponent m is the numerator of the rational exponent. So notice in our radical, the index is 18, and the exponent is 6, which means we can rewrite this as 27 raised to the power of 6 eighteenths. Notice when we do this, though, the fraction of 6 eighteenths simplifies to 1 third, and therefore we can rewrite this as 27 raised to the power of 1 third. Now from here, if we recognize that 27 is equal to 3 to the third, we can rewrite this as 3 to the third raised to the one-third. Notice in this form, we have powers raised to powers. When we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. And notice how this would give us three to the power of three times one-third, which equals one. And remember, whenever the exponent is one, we can leave it off, and therefore this simplifies perfectly to three. But let's just say at this step here, we didn't recognize that 27 was a perfect cube. Another way to approach this would be to rewrite 27 to the one-third power back as a radical. Notice if we did this, the denominator of the rational exponent is three, so the index would be three, and the numerator is one, so the exponent would be one. So another way to approach this from this step would be to rewrite this as the cube root of 27 to the first, but again, we can leave the exponent off. In this form, if we tried to simplify the cubit of 27, and we did not recognize that 27 was a perfect cube, we'd look at the prime factorization of 27. 27 is equal to nine times three. Nine is equal to three times three. From here, we can see that 27 is a perfect cube. We can rewrite this as the cube root of three times three times three, or if we want, the cube root of three to the third, and the cubit of three to the third simplifies perfectly to one factor of three. Now let's take a look at this one more time using a slightly different approach. So beginning with the 18th root of 27 to the sixth, let's say we do recognize right away that 27 is a perfect cube. We could rewrite this as the 18th root of three to the third raised to the sixth. And as in this form, the radicand is three to the third raised to the sixth. Once again, we have powers raised to powers, and therefore we can multiply the exponents. So we'd have the 18th root of three raised to the power of three times six, which is 18. So we have the 18th root of three to the 18th, which again is going to simplify perfectly to one factor of three. So there are several ways to simplify this, but whichever approach we take, this will simplify perfectly to one factor of three. I hope you found this helpful.